Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to add the Runcam Split HD camera to the Ishin Wizard X220S, how to configure it on Betaflight and then take it for a test flight. So let's start by disassembling the top part, desolder the front camera and add this camera instead. Since the voltage over here is the voltage of the battery, I'm going to desolder the, this wire and use instead 5 volts from one of the ports over here. Next thing I need to do, I need to connect the UART 6 of the SPAS or any other UART. I'm going to use the UART 6 because it's going to be, I think, easier to these ports over here. So the TX port is going to be soldered to the RX on the board, the RX to the EX, and over here is the ground. Okay, so now let's make sure that everything is working. So, you can see the Runcam split turned on and now I'm gonna see if it transmits in video correctly. And you can see that it is working. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flash the latest version of Betaflight to this Omnibus flight controller and then configure the Runcam split on Betaflight. Now that I verified that everything is working, now it's time to close everything up. So I finished assembling back the X22S with the Runcom split in the middle. I'm going to fly it right now without the left cover because I want to leave the USB connector of the Runcom split exposed but later on what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put it back and then just cut a hole over here so the USB port is going to be accessible. 
The only thing is left to be done is to put on the propellers and take it for a test flight. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the process of connecting the Runcom split to the X22S or how to configure the Runcom split with Betaflight 3.20, feel free to ask it in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and see you on my next videos. Goodbye.